Nala's got her little bear this morning. <gasps> you let him go for a second? Do you love him? Nolly? Nolly, can you say hi? Nope, she can't this morning. Good morning, happy truly last day of 2016. That's just so crazy to think and to say. But I am with my sister now, she just ran into Aldi. Um, she's getting a couple of things for a little party that she's gonna put on tonight at my parents' house. My parents are at a wedding right now, and they said that we could just have our cousins over at the house if we want to. So instead of Alex and I just kind of hanging out at our house, we are gonna go and hang out with my cousins tonight, which will be a lot of fun. That's exactly what we did last year. They were, everybody, all had plans and then now they don't. So it kind of just worked out that we're all gonna be able to be together. We love bringing in the new year that way, so it'll be a lot of fun. So she's grabbing a couple things that she wants to make for tonight, uh, and I already have the things that I wanna make for tonight, and then everybody's gonna just bring a little dish or whatever, and we're just gonna hang out over there, drink some champagne, and just hang out. So that's really cool. We got our Starbucks already, I got my coffee. Um, I need to add some nut pods to it. I just asked for like a very little bit of cream and they went very light on the cream, which is good. But I'm gonna add some nut pods because I love the nut, nut pods. I actually prefer my iced coffee now with the nut pods instead of just cream, so that's good though because when I do my Whole30, it's perfect. So yeah, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna go home and start making a couple of things and then shower, get ready, and head to my parents' house for the night, I guess. So we're back now from Aldi. Casey just walked out the door like five, 10 minutes ago. I threw on a couple of different face masks. I have these breakouts still, these hormonal breakouts, so I put this clay mask onto those areas. Then I have a brightening mask on my cheeks and stuff. And up here, this is like a tightening, I forget exactly what it does, but three different masks on right now. I'm going to clean up the house from last night because like I said, we had everybody over. So I'm just gonna put the pillows away and everything and then jump in the shower and start getting ready for this evening. I'm really excited to hang with my cousins. Like my cousins, my husband, my sister, my best friends in the entire world, you know? So it's just gonna be a really, really great time. Oh, the toilet paper is here. <laughs> and something else, I don't know what, but I'm just glad we got the toilet paper. I'm using my little Lumi case <laughs> to light up my face right now because the lighting in here always turns me like super red and like orange, so I figured I would just use this so I don't look crazy. But I just got my makeup done. I did like a gold eye, and then I have my gold and black little poncho thing that I always whip out when sequins are needed. And sequins and glitter is always needed on New Year's Eve, let's just be real. And I also went with a red lip because it just felt right to go with a red lip for New Year's. I don't know, bringing in the New Year with a red lip, I had to. So yeah, I got all of that done. I need to take Nala out and make sure she goes to the bathroom before I leave. I don't want her to go in the bathroom. Well, we're gone for a few hours, but even if she did go in the house, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> so I'm gonna take her out, make sure she does that though, feed her and then head out the door. I have a bunch of crap that I gotta load into the car too. I also felt like I just had to show you guys that these are my actual lashes and this is how much they have grown since I started using castor oil and lavender essential oil on them. And I basically just use it every night and they've just grown so much. These are not false lashes. So I'm telling you guys the castor oil and the lavender essential oil, you have to start doing it on your eyelashes. It's crazy, it's insane how much they've grown. I need to do like a before and after picture. Hopefully I have a picture of what my lashes look like before I started using it. But this is only a couple of months and they are just so long. Casey's got a bunch of stuff in the oven. We have buffalo chicken dip, pigs in a blanket. She's got some barbecue wings under there for Alex. These are just some extra pigs in a blanket. She made baked pickle chips. We have some other wings and pizza. And then all of the booze. Here we go. Cheers. So we're getting ready to say seek out. Is that ready? Y'all ready? This kind of hurts, and I'm excited. All right. Bagels. Bagels. Need. Need. Bagels need. 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 Need.
Bagels. Bagels. Hey, guy. Hey, guy. Need dry? <laughs> hey. Weed. changed really quick hi Nolly come here she's playing with the ball um did you guys see Mariah tonight Mariah Carey we were freaked out I honestly just feel really sad for her like I feel bad that it went so terribly for her I just wish like she would have started singing why did she not start singing I, I don't know I don't know it was really sad though I felt terrible for her. I mean, I know the last couple of times she has like sung live, it's not been great, and I'm sure that's why she wasn't going to tonight, but I mean, that was like a lot of dead air. A lot of just nothing, just background music, and I just felt sad for her. Nala, Nala, are you excited about 2017? Are you excited? Even with the dirty clothes behind you, are you excited? Yeah, I love you, sweet girl. Did you get your ball? Is that all you want to do in 2017? Is play with the ball? Is that all you want? One last throw, okay? And then we got to be done, okay? Here we go, ready? Go! <laughs> She's crazy. I really need to take this makeup off and put a face mask on. Hi, little Nal. She's sitting with me. Uh, but we are getting ready to go to bed here pretty soon. Alex is just jumping in the shower right now. I just had a great night. I had so much fun with everyone tonight. We always do with my cousins. You guys know I say this over and over again, but I mean, they're just my best friends, you know? So it's just like the best way to bring it in. And it was so cute. My parents are just precious. Right at midnight, my dad texts my sister and I and Alex and just said, love you guys. I hope you have such a great year. And, and I loved 2016 with you. And I don't know, like we just have the best parents and just such a great life and it's I know it, it it doesn't take a new year to realize that but it just it for me it like amplifies it and I don't know about you guys but I am really really excited for 2017 like I was thinking on the way home I'm just like I have this overwhelming feeling about it being like 
really awesome. And I actually had the same feeling in 2015, which is when we ended up getting married, you know? So, and I, it's not that 2016 was bad at all. It wasn't. It's just that it wasn't like, oh my God, the best year ever. But so many great things happened. I mean, the Cubs won the World Series, duh. My best friend got married. My cousins, you know, got engaged. Uh, a lot of people that I love ended up getting married and engaged, but it's just it was a great year, too I just feel like that overwhelming feeling again for 2017. Do, does that make sense? Like do you guys are is anybody else feeling the same way because I just have a good feeling about it So I'm excited to see what this year brings. I'm I'm really excited for like day one tomorrow You know tomorrow is day one of a brand new year and it just I don't know. It just makes me really happy to think about. So I hope you feel the same way. I really do. And I hope that we can go through this year together just supporting one another like we did this year. Uh, you know, this has just been an incredible year. I feel like I've been able to open up to new friends. Like, I consider so many of you guys my friends, you know? And I just appreciate you every day. And I know I tell you that every day, but it really is the truth. And especially going forward into this new year, I have a lot of goals. I have a lot of big things coming up. And it's all good. And it's it's just going to be a really positive year. I feel it. And I'm hoping and praying and wishing for the same for you guys. But I will definitely talk to you tomorrow. I'm going to probably put tomorrow's vlog into this one as well. Because why not? So I'll just see you guys tomorrow. I love you. Good morning. Happy New Year. Today's already been a really good day. I uh, woke up to Alex bringing home Starbucks for me. Because he's so sweet. Sorry, I had to go switch out my battery because it was dying and I didn't know. But anywho, so I have been drinking my coffee and my parents just FaceTimed me from the car. They're on their way home from that wedding they were at last night. They were just telling me all about it. It was, they're just awesome. Like they're just the absolute best. But basically the people that they were at the wedding at last night, they were at our wedding last year and they loved the yogurt bar that we had. We had Dairy Queen ice cream and then all of the candy from Yo Amazing and they wanted something similar at their wedding. So we had a machine for our frozen yogurt or for the ice cream. We had a frozen yogurt machine and it had ice cream in it that people could make their own cups just like at a frozen yogurt shop. But they we didn't really want to transport the machine again. So we just made cups of ice cream for them and then we had a ton of Yo Amazing candy there and she said it was a huge hit. So she was just telling me about that. We were trying to make plans for tomorrow because she has the day off. And she's like, can we like, can we all get the day off and go to Chicago tomorrow and just hang out? So we're going to try to work it out. I'm not really sure if we're going to go or not. I probably shouldn't even put it on camera because I'm not sure if we're going to go. But if we do, we're just going to be walking around in downtown Chicago, just shopping and bringing in the new year the way that we love to do so in downtown Chicago. Why not, you know? So I'll keep you guys posted on that. But I just really want to start my new year out with a really good sweat and a really good workout for me. So I'm going to go downstairs and do that. I'll probably just take the next hour or so to myself and watch an episode of Gilmore Girls and just get that workout in. I don't know, like I told you guys last night, I'm just feeling motivated and excited. So I'm going to go do that and then make breakfast and I will talk to you guys soon. It's like super dark in our house today. It's dark outside. I don't, I don't know why. Uh, but I got done with my workout. I'm super flushed. My hair is nasty and I don't care. <laughs> I need to get something to eat. I'm going to make some like an egg white scramble. I can't do regular eggs lately and I don't know. I mean, I do know why. I had a friend call them something. I'm not going to say it because I don't want to ruin it for everybody else, but uh, I just can't get past it. So I can do egg whites and I have a bunch of vegetables that I need to throw into the pan and cook up because they're probably going to go bad if I don't this week. Uh, and I have some like cauliflower crumbles, zucchini, spinach. Uh, what else do I have in there? Celery, but I'm not putting that in there. I have some peppers. So I'll just throw that all in, cook it up in some coconut oil. And then I'm going to finish my coffee. I still haven't finished that. And I need to get to studying because I mean, we we're done with our real estate course, but I still have to do the exam prep. So I'm going to start that today. Uh, it shouldn't take too long. It'll probably take in total maybe six hours. So I'll probably get most of it done today and some of it tomorrow. But I need to do that and see how that goes. I'm sure it'll be okay. But I had a friend that it literally took them, I'm not even kidding, eight times to pass the exam. So we'll see. I hope it doesn't take me that long. And I just need to stop overthinking it. But I just wanted to be one and done. You know what I mean? <laughs>
<laughs> so that's what I'm gonna go do. I'm gonna go eat and start studying. So I just took the pre-exam for my real estate class. This is just like the prep course. Our exam is in a couple of weeks. So anyways, I just got 91% on the pre-exam. So I'm hoping that the rest of it goes well. I'm gonna do a couple more sections now. I'm probably not gonna finish this today, but I really like this whole program they have. It just makes it so much easier. Basically scarfed my breakfast down after my workout. So I thought I would just show you guys my lunch. It's about three hours later now, um, but I got hungry again. So I'm having some just little cut up chicken breast pieces that we had in the fridge that we made a couple of days ago. Some cottage cheese. This is the kind from Aldi, but like I said, the Costco one is the best one. So get it if you can. And then just some uh, celery sticks that I'll probably just dip that in. So yeah, it's going to be super simple. This literally took five minutes to throw together because these were already prepped and it's protein packed and filling. Oh, I for all, forgot to mention that I'm also going to add a little bit of sriracha to the chicken as well. This little girl staring at me because she smelled. Did you smell the chicken? Yeah, you did. You got to get that stretch in. I am so glad that I got my workout done earlier this morning because I have been sitting now for almost four and a half hours just doing all of this study material that I need to get done. Uh, I mean, I've been studying my flashcards now for a while since we finished the actual course, but now this is the exam prep course that really doesn't take, it's not gonna take that much longer. I'm, I'm almost done, like I probably have two or three more sections left, but you know, I just wanna do it right the first time so I don't have to go back to it and redo 15 things, you know? So I'm hoping, like I've been really, I've been going through all my books and all my notes and everything that I took during the course to try to help me with this. So I don't know, I hope it, this exam prep is very similar to the actual exam. I've heard that sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. I think it just depends on the state but hopefully it is here in Indiana. I, I feel confident, but then I just, you know, of course I overthink it and I need to stop doing that. So I'm gonna try, I'm just gonna do my best and if I don't pass it the first time, that's okay, I'll take it again, you know? Uh, but anywho, so I'm just gonna actually end this here pretty early today because Alex is gonna be home in a couple of hours and really I'm probably not gonna do much more until then and I would like to have this uploaded before he gets home so we can just spend the evening together, you know, the first day of the year really just enjoy our time together because it hasn't been just us two for the last three or four days now you know so I will definitely talk to you guys tomorrow be sure if you haven't subscribed yet to hit that little red button below and also leave us a little thumbs up if you do want to see daily vlogs I'm gonna do my absolute best to keep daily vlogging as much as I possibly can and hopefully get into a routine where I can do this every single day I would I really want to do it, it's just sometimes it's a time restriction, but you know I'm going to do my best, and really it's for you guys and for me. It just keeps me sane, and I just really enjoy it, and I love you guys so much. Thank you for everything, like I said yesterday, and I'll see you tomorrow. Love you.